Well, this week on Daybreak, we are helping you discover yourself. So today we're talking about DNA tests and companies promise to tell you what makes you, you. And today we're going <laughs> to learn about what makes Tim, Tim. Oh boy. So he tried out the most popular DNA testing companies to find out the differences. Here's what he learned. I wanted to know who I am. We've all seen the commercials and have at least wondered about purchasing that DNA kit to see what exactly it tells us about ourselves. Are they worth it and will it truly shock you with its results? We decided to put the two leading DNA testing kits to the test, 23andMe and Ancestry.com. Both work the same way. Your DNA is extracted from a specimen, in these cases your saliva, both websites allow you to track the progress, too, of your specimen while it's being tested. Let's compare the basics between the two kits. 23andMe came back a little bit quicker. In about three weeks, I got results online. Ancestry.com took a little while longer, about five weeks until I saw my results come in online. Now, the cost, same for both. $99, it'll set you back for a full DNA kit. 23andMe stated most of what I already knew, that I'm mostly Greek, 83% to be exact, with some surrounding heritage from North Africa, Italy, and Turkey, but also surprised me with a few extra features at no extra cost. For example, Based on my DNA, I'm 44% more likely to be able to wiggle my ears or 29% less likely to have perfect pitch when singing. That part is right on. The amount of Greek in my DNA differed between tests. Ancestry said I was 62% Greek and the rest was a broad makeup from the Middle East. Ancestry also has a service that connected me with others who shared my DNA. So why were the two test results different? Well, that's because Ancestry has a larger DNA pool used to compare samples. The greater the size of the gene pool, the more in depth and more leads there are to narrow down your ancestors and your family's DNA origin. All in all, both kits offer unique insight into you. I highly recommend giving it a go. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tim. So you can keep discovering yourself all week long. That's right. Tomorrow on Daybreak, Christina is looking into food allergies. So we're going to find out how your DNA can tell you which foods you should avoid. Crazy that your DNA can tell you that. Absolutely. And, and wow. I, I, will, I will never forget Christina's reaction when she came into her. She was like, oh, my goodness. Right. So you're not yeah. going to want to miss this. Very eye-opening, yeah. the stuff you learn just from your DNA. Man.